So now we do some RDMA testing, right? Right. So you did a lot of stuff, and I'm going to test if everything worked correctly. Not that I have doubt. That's, <laughs> that's the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Always yeah. use another person to test your uh, stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, I'd like to introduce you to some, you know, to some process that I did for testing out RDMA, which I find useful. Um, Carsten will do another one. Um, and you can choose which one uh, suits you uh, suits you better. So test RDMA is some PowerShell script that does check for the configuration, um, and it will also initiate some load um, that is transported over the RDMA um, protocol uh, via SMB Direct, uh, as you will. Um, and therefore, we need to download some tools to your uh, Azure Stack HCI node. And I uh, already pre prepared um, some step on my github repository in order to describe how that's done okay so let's connect to the node um, i'm selecting node number one and i download um, um, the disk speed tool in order to generate some load um, the load will be you know a 10 gigabit file i think which will be written on the other side um, and the other side you know the 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 traffic the network traffic should be rdma right, um, to be used. So in order to do that, um, we next need some PowerShell code for instrumenting uh, that. And I do that simply in the starting notepad and copying over the test RDMA script, which I download from here, from that website. So what I do is, it is an old strip, a script written by someone, I think, at Microsoft, and um, just copy and paste the code, the raw code file, into the PowerShell window, and save it locally. Uh, and this one should go under the temp directory, test rdma. Use the PowerShell extension PS1, remove the text file notation, right? And see that disk speed is already there. Save the file. And the next thing is then we can run the test, but we need to identify uh, the network adapter that we are choosing from, right? So you're not mm -hmm. testing all the network adapters, you're testing them one by one. Okay, so let's start to no, navigate to that directory, CD, CTEMP. Um, so my script is there. So let's start test RDMA interface index, and you select this, uh, the the uh, the interface by the interface index. So therefore, the get net adapter. It is a Rocky uh, configured, or it is using Rocky. Then we do have the remote IP address, and that's remote, not the local host. It is um, the other seven. Seven dot. Let's take which node. Oh, we sh should we choose number four? Fifty-two. Four. Two, what do you want? What do you want? Okay, we do have three opportunity, uh, three possibilities. Okay, then we need the path to um, the load generator, which is disk speed, which has been downloaded to here. Right, and fire it off. Hopefully, you know uh, it will launch a connection. Next thing is it will check out for the configuration of the RDMA. Did, did you set the PFC, um, the quality of service? Uh, was that done correctly? Um, and then it will disable RDMA on all the other adapters that are not part of this test and then launch the, uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the That's load. normal. If it disable RDMA, you will lose the connection for a moment. If it disabled RDMA yeah. on every adapter, the management adapter also, then we lose the connection. Yep. And so. you have to log in again. So, <laughs> but it, I think it still be there. Yeah, my password is so complex. So let's reconnect to that server. Let's try if we can. So there we go. Yeah, that's is that is what we should see, right? So. Uh, this is not a load test that is going to the maximum right of the, your capabilities so numbers may vary and your system might be still more performant but that's you know what we should see you should see bytes traveling um, over the wire using RDMA 
after some time, you know, it will stop um, doing that test. And um, at the bottom, you know, we should see then um, RDMA test successful or something like that, right? So that would give you an indication that everything worked out correctly. Uh, not a big deal, um, but it helped me once to troubleshoot, right? If if I'm really using RDMA, because I was using different cards together, um, and obviously uh, it was not working on one of the network adapters, right? One connection was good, the other one not. But anyway, um, I think that's a useful test. Nice and easy, nice and short. Yeah, you have to um, reconnect, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right. That's the not so funny part. Maybe we should do it next time via the console, right? Uh, in order to do that. But anyways, um, and now I think Carson is doing another approach of testing RDMA using his um, using a different approach, which is also quite nice to see. Yeah, but we'll do that in another video. And here we see the test was successful. Uh, uh, one remark I have, uh, mm -hmm. because disk speed is writing data to a device. Uh, it, of course, the performance depends on the right performance of your device. So Definitely. we have here an NVMe. It's quite right. fast. But if you have a disk, or the, um, an HDD or an SSD, uh, this right. is a limiting factor, right? So my test will do it on another way, and we try to get a lot of traffic over the network. So see you mm -hmm. in the next video. Yep.